So here's a quick <clears throat> introduction to how we can um, use the genetic information that we've been generating to um, illustrate changes to the shape, to, to the face um, shape and how people differ. Um, so this is the consensus face from a study of uh, largely African European mixed people um, and males and females combined. And we can load individual particular faces. Here's my face, for example. And um, here's how it varies from that consensus face. These are parts of the face that are moving out in red and parts of the face that are moving in in blue compared to the consensus face. Let's go back to just the gray for a minute. And you can see how we can alter the effects of ancestry on that face. We're making that face more African. And here's about where it started. We can make it more European too. And uh, we can go even farther than that. Um, so let me put it about where it started and then show you how we can change the sex of the face too. Here making it more masculine. And moving over this way, more feminine. And you can see this is a 3D model, so you can change this around, move it around as you, as you make these alterations. The uh, gene effects and the actual principal component scores that are changing are shown here in this histogram and the number values here and the genes are here. So you actually get a rating of the, the, the gene effects on those faces as well.